fact, my idea to have a storefront, storefront community art center. Uh, I had worked in theater in the community around St. Clair and Ellington, Bathurst, Oakwood, all in that area. And I, I always thought it was community theater, popular theater, uh, in the mid-80s. And I always thought it would be just so much fun to do this in a storefront so that people would come in off the street. By the time I got around to actually working on that, I myself had gone through a transition from being a theater artist to a visual artist. So I thought, well, why not have a storefront for all the arts? So we opened up shop in November of 1992. And I remember thinking that after about four months, we were where I thought it would take us two years to be. It just took off. When I had that trial run in a storefront on Eglinton, it was closer to Dufferin. And uh, people would come in and chat with me while I was sitting there making my art. And this one elderly, uh, probably my age now, Italo-Canadian woman came in and said, you know, this used to be a good neighborhood, but now all these Somali immigrants are, are moving in. And of course, that's what was said about the Italian immigrants when they came, so I thought that was very ironic. And then I found out that a, a large percentage of Somali people who were coming to Toronto actually spoke and do speak Italian because uh, Somalia was part of Somalia was an Italian uh, uh, colony. So I decided that I would produce and direct a play in three languages Somali, Italian, and English, with Somali actors, Italo Canadian actors. So Elizabeth Chinella was one of the actors. I had worked with her on many theater projects. We were both running art starts. And then we had to find some Somali actors, and somehow or other, we ended up with three people who were the leading stars of the National Theatre of Somalia in our little storefront, which at that time was hardly known. So they came along and we put on this original play. It wasn't without its bumps and problems, but we did stage it all over the community and it was really fun. And they were singers. Before the Civil War in Somalia, there was a, a dictator and there was extreme oppression and extreme censorship. And what they did was they would write these songs against the dictator and they would circulate them on um, CD, not CDs, what were they called then? Uh, tapes, ca ca cassette tapes. They would circulate their songs on cassette tapes and they would circulate through all the people in Somalia. So if I got into a taxi in Toronto and the taxi driver was from Somalia, I'd say, do you know Hussein and Hassan and Katja and Fatima? Oh yes, yes, they're big stars. And they were working with us at Art Starts. It was a really, really great experience, and it was called No Man's. And people were fine with the fact that it was in three languages. Most people could only understand one of the three, although people from Somalia mostly understood all three. I should make a tribute to all the artists who have worked at Art Starts. There have been hundreds of them over the years, and they've all been wonderful. It's been an extraordinary group of people.